Now this is how you string a guitar, okay? And we're going to lay this sixth string on here in a minute. Well, I'm going to show you. Okay. All these little tails going this way. And these tails go this way. This is the string that somebody else put on. And I'm not taking that off yet. But uh, this is really trashy. And this cuts up the bridge bad. You don't want to do it like that. You want it to lay flat and wrap here around the edge. It'll hold it in as long as you got it on the edge. And it doesn't do as much damage to the bridge. They had them all over the place and they were miles long and wrapped into each other. It's not how you do it. And then when you go up to the head... This is on the outside, this goes to the middle, and this top one goes towards, it's going left, okay? Just like these will all go to the right, to the right, where they're not going to clear. And then tightening, all the tuners tighten this way. So when you wind the string, it's got to tighten that way and loosens this way, even on the bottom. They all tighten this way, okay? So, don't ever cut all these off till you get the whole guitar string, get them all done, and tune them, because it's going to keep adjusting. You should really change one string at a time, and then it won't be so hard to keep it tuned up and get it right, um, because uh, I've done that before, where I've cut one off too short and messed it up and had to buy a new string, so don't ever cut these until... You got all the strings on and it's tuned. It's going to take some time to settle. And you use toenail clippers to cut them. You don't want to leave them too long. as You don't want them buzzing and you don't want them hitting the wood and scratching it. These you don't have to cut. But I'm going to tell you I'm a, not a fan of the ones that have little balls on them. I'll cut them off. Because I do it just like that. I don't need those little balls. Nothing extra to vibrate. So, let me see. I can get you over here so that you can see this pretty good. There. Okay. This is six string. So, I res. These are light. They light medium and the heavies. And I only play lighter mediums. But these are the light, the low tensions. And the way you tell which way as it goes, this, this is kind of the unravely part. And this is not. These are uh, silver wound strings. And these are for classical. Your acoustics are a steel string. So, you check the ends. This one's kind of wiggly, kind of unraveled, and this one's not. This is the one's going in this bottom. Okay. And I'm going to go under. See what I'm doing? Because i got to have it go through here. Don't crank them. I'll try to hold this down and gently rock this so I can get it to kind of tighten up and leave that tail down under. There, that looks about right. You see how that is? The edge of that is holding that tail down. That's right where you want it to be, slightly under that edge. Okay. Then we're going to take and hold under it and bring it down to the other end. I 
gonna have to bring you over here now. Okay. Okay, now I'm holding the string down. Let's see if I can get this go back out. Okay, I'm holding the string down. And it's going to go in this edge here. This is the piece that it goes into right here. See that? That's where it's going to be going. And hold this down. Put the string through the hole right here. See it? Okay. And now we've got to come back up through the bottom. Ooh. Okay, now, let's see if I can let this go a little bit. Okay. See what I'm doing? Right there. Okay, it's coming through the bottom because it's got to wind over the top. I'm going to put the first wrap in. Okay, and hold it back. I'm going to turn the tuner. It goes this way for tightening now. They all need to go the same way. Keep turning it. Because you want the, the string to go over the top. Right before this hole. Because that's where it's going to catch on. You see what I'm doing? Okay. Here we go. Now I gotta put another turn in it. You wanna wrap it a whole bunch right at the beginning because then you can't get it to tighten. But this should all be spinning around. See what it's doing? It's not tied or anything else weird. It's spinning. Spinning around. See it? And to tighten, we turn the tuner this way. This way. Tighten. 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 It's going to be pretty close. Sounds about right. Bye, George. I think we got it. So there you are. That's what the headstock's supposed to look like. Before we cut it off. And this is what 
the bridge looks like. That's no good. That one right there, that's a no good. The fifth string. Face tilt this way, face tilt this way. Or you can tilt them out if you want. I like them better tilted in. I think it looks nice and neat. So there you are. And that's how you string a guitar. I use Sabras and Labella strings. I usually like to use half Sabras, half, La half Labella. These are silver wound. And these are the low tension of the Sabras. I love Sabras. I think it's lower than medium. These low tension are 520Bs. And they're under 20. And then keep your backup strings. Go ahead and put these in here, but right on their old. On each package. So that way you'll know they're old ones. In case you break a string if you have an emergency. So you can put the same string back on if you have to. Until you get more strings. Always keep backup. In your case. Alright. And use a humidifier. If you need these things, can't find them, go to showgirlltd.com and they'll be glad to service you. Have a great one. Enjoy. Play on.